a man decided to die. He tries every way to die, but he fails every time. And in his quest to die, he found many good things in life. Ulf lived to be 59 and had no children. His wife is dead and he's been fired from the factory. The neighborhood is guarded for half his life is now unregulated. With no hope, he plans to hang himself. Before he did, he dressed in a suit and combed his hair. But as soon as his head was in the noose, someone crashed his guest tank. Ulf gets angry and runs out to inquire. He finds out it's Jack, his new neighbor from next door. Jack's a terrible driver, and Ulf's very upset when he sees this. He helped them park their car. He went back to his suicide, when he was interrupted by a knock on the door. He opened the door, to find Jack's kids bringing him food to thank him. After taking the food, Ulf decided to die anyway, but this time the rope breaks and it fails again. Ulf spent his childhood with his father. He was a cheerful man, but his father didn't smile much. His father taught him all the skills he needed and he thought his life was happy. But then he was hit by a train and died right in front of him. Oh, who took over his father's work, was bullied by his father's former co-workers. Since then, the cheerful Ove is no longer there. He became angry and his house was set on fire because of an argument. Having lost everything, Ove set off on a train to honor. He met the love of his life. Eventually, they fell in love and got married. Back in the present, Ove tried to kill himself with car exhaust. But he was interrupted by Jack's wife knocking on the door. She says Jack broke his leg and she can't take him to the hospital without a driver's license. Ove was impatient, but he took Jack to the hospital. After all that, he tried to kill himself again when he saw a man passed out on the railroad tracks. He rushed to get him out. Then he was going to die standing on the tracks. Then he saw a kid staring at him, thinking of his father. He gave up the idea of suicide. And with that, Ove stopped wanting to die. He picked up the stray cat he didn't like and made friends with Jack's wife. He taught her how to drive and help take care of her kids. Just as his life was getting back on track, a man appeared out of nowhere. He wanted Ov to give up his jurisdiction over the neighborhood and threatened him by saying he knew Ov's secret. An angry Ov can't take it anymore and tries to kill himself again. But the doorbell interrupts his suicide plan. Ov opens the door to find a pair of gay lovers who have been evicted from their home and left homeless. Remembering his kind wife, Ov decides to take them in. Under Jack's wife's questioning, Ove revealed the secret in his heart. After Ove's wife became pregnant, they traveled together but were in a car accident. They lost their child and his wife became disabled. Undeterred by fate, Ove's wife got her teaching license. Ove lowered the height of all the furniture for her. Finally, she got a job as a teacher, but she died of cancer. Ove couldn't understand why his life was so miserable. Then the man came after Ove again, but he was exposed his dark history by a reporter who came to interview Ove, faced with evidence that would have landed him in jail. The man could only run away, but Ove collapsed in the neighborhood where he'd lived half his life. He was taken to the hospital by Jack and others, and Jack's wife gave birth to a new baby. Ove found the sunshine of life again, looking at the smiles of the people around him. He felt very happy. On a snowy morning, Ove ended his life in a dream with a smile on his face. The movie ends here. They say the best accident is when you turn a corner and see a smile. Those unlucky things that happen all the time disrupt our lives. We wake up with a lot of work to do, which makes those boring words the perfect qualifier for us. Life slowly drags us forward, but sometimes it brings us little surprises. In a long life, whose arms will we fall into and whose hearts will we enter? This is the end of this movie. We'll see you next time.